Hey, John, how are you? Hey, Scott, very well, mate. How's it going? I'm very well, thank you very much. I'm very well. It's a Sunday. I'm sitting down. Yeah. There's nothing better than that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, congratulations on the film. Thank you. It's uh, it's really good fun. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I was looking at some quotes of Roland Emmerich because I'm I'm a huge fan of his movies, and there's one quote I don't I hope this is him that, where he says, "I'm only a stupid filmmaker." Now I was going to ask you, do you do you think that's a quote that kind of sells him short? Because even though he does the big, expensive, explosive movies, that there's always kind of messages in his movies, and he's trying to make a point that's that's worth making. Yeah, I think so. It always seems to me that there's always more going on than than uh, than you know would become readily apparent on first viewing because Roland's the master of VFX and green screen and and all those bells and whistles. But at the heart of it, there's always something a message that we hope will stay with people and and will still be on their minds days, maybe weeks after they've seen the movie. And I think I, the reason why Roland's movies appeal to so many people is. There are messages, but they're not necessarily rammed down your throat. And if you want to just go and watch a big, fun, noisy action movie with loads of explosions for a bit of escapism, there's that as well. If you do want to find something deeper, there's so much fertile ground for that. So he's not hes not a pompous filmmaker. He's perfectly happy to, to watch the movie and just have a great deal of fun. And I think that that's, that's, really, that's really, really important that you get to appreciate it on either level, whichever level you choose to appreciate it on. Yeah, and I really enjoyed the the arc of your character, Doctor Houseman. Is we will call him Doctor Houseman. Um, th- did you enjoy when you read the script? Or you got you get the script for an Emmerich. It's Moonfall, but at the core of it, your character has a really interesting journey, and he's he's trying to do right by his mum, and he's trying to do right by lots of things. But people don't listen to him. Did you enjoy the fact that the arc was so interesting for for your character? Absolutely, I, it was the thing that really leapt off the page for me. Whenever any actor gets a script for the first time, they're always looking for beats that they can play and what emotions I'm going to get to use. And and the more I read KC, the more I discovered, oh, I can do absolutely everything with this. There's a moment in this movie where, you know, he there's a lot of heartbreak, there's anger, there's frustration, there's tenderness and there's humour, there's heartbreak. It's just, just so many facets to this one character and, you know, getting to, getting to take him from a, a, a person who's, completely alone in the world and completely isolated and and you know this sense of frustration to acceptance and going on this incredible journey that he'd never believed in a million years he'd ever go on right to his redemption it was a very very complete arc and lots of lots of opportunity in there to play really nice emotional beats and have a bit of fun as well it was a it was a dream of a part yeah and it's always nice to to go out into space with some some friends in this one you get Patrick and Hallie that must have been fun given that you guys are at the, in you know this little kind of almost family court at the midst of all the the craziness going on outside outside the windows if you like absolutely that's true it became a very intimate acting experience actually because we we filmed it in the replica of a real space a shuttle cockpit and once the door was closed on it nobody else could get in because there wasn't room for them they were putting boom mics through the window and we sort of lost contact with the outside world. And in the middle of a pandemic, especially where when we were in that shuttle together, it was the only time we saw anybody without a mask on for the whole three month shoot. So we, we, a real trust and camaraderie developed between our little, our little subcast within that, that shuttle. And uh, I couldn't have hoped to be in that situation with two better people, because even in the middle of quite a difficult set of circumstances with COVID, they still managed to make it as fun as it could possibly be. Yeah, well, it was great fun to watch. So uh, it certainly comes across on the screen. Uh, John, thanks so much for your time. Absolute pleasure talking to you. My pleasure, mate. Thanks very much. Thanks very much. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!